So since in Canada it's already decided to snow and bring cold weather, I thought it would be a good time to do a how to keep your hamster warm in the winter video. Now with hamsters, you really want to keep them in temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything below 60 degrees Fahrenheit can actually cause your hamster to go into torpor. Torpor is a survival tactic used by many, many animals when cold weather comes. It is a little bit different from hibernation, but if there's suddenly cold weather, the animal requires them to reduce their overall body temperature, their breathing rate, and their heart rate, and this helps them survive any cold weather that comes their way. Now, unfortunately, hamsters in captivity cannot survive going into torpor so if it is not caught soon enough unfortunately your hamster can pass keep in mind your hamster will not likely go into torpor unless temperatures inside your home or where their cage are are below 60 degrees fahrenheit anything above that would not cause a hamster to go into torpor so if your hamster has passed or appears lifeless torpor may not be the cause if the temperatures are above 60 degrees fahrenheit if you found your hamster in torpor, they will appear lifeless. You will see a very faint heartbeat, as well as you can also see their whiskers twitch a bit. As soon as you find them like this, you are going to want to pick them up. They're not going to wake up when you pick them up. They're going to appear in a very heavy, deep sleep. They're going to be very limp. So you're going to want to, as soon as possible when you see them in this state, take them out of their enclosure and start to warm them up as quickly, but not too quickly. If you warm your hamster up too fast, they can go into shock and die. So you want to slowly start putting them against your chest, or if you have a heating pad, that can work as well, and start massaging their body to get the circulation flowing once again. It might take a couple of minutes before your hamster starts to become a little bit more active. They may be a li little bit more wobbly. This is common. Kind of just give them more time to wake themselves up because they just went into a pretty deep sleep, so they're trying to get their circulation and everything back up. Once your hamster has fully become awake, you are going to want to offer food and water to them. So to ensure that our hamsters stay warm this winter, we are going to want to make sure that the location of their cage does not have any harsh drafts that can cause them to get cold. You also are going to want to include a lot more bedding. Try to give them a lot of nesting material. That way they can build up a nice warm nest. Toilet paper is a great safe option as nesting as well as any paper-based bedding as long as it's not scented. You are going to want to avoid giving your hamster things like cotton fluff or any fabrics because if these are ingested, they can cause internal blockages. They also can easily get the fibers wrapped around their limbs, which can cause uh, it to cut off your hamster's circulation. If your hamster's cage is in an area where it is colder in your house and you are unable to move their cage to a warmer area in your house, I would recommend looking into some portable heaters. Of course, be careful with portable heaters. Don't keep them plugged in all the time and make sure they're only plugged in when you are home because you can easily start a fire. So you just want to be very careful with them. Another thing that can help is just taking a heating pad or a reptile heating pad and attaching this to the bottom of one side of the cage. Make sure it's not on the whole enclosure and you also want to make sure it's on a low temperature. That way it has one spot in its cage that's going to be warmer. So if your hamster's feeling a little bit cold, they can go to that area. But as well as if they get too hot, they can move away from that area. Another thing is that you can put a blanket around your hamster's cage. If your hamster's cage is up against a wall, putting a blanket in between the wall and the hamster cage can kind of help insulate it a bit more. I know this was a short video, but it is an important topic to talk about because keeping your hamster in ideal temperatures is very important. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Bye!